What do you think is special about the Big Man Walking project? Apart from his size, um, I just think that it's such an interactive event that that in itself is really quite special. Because it's unique uh, and a bit mental. The scale of it? The scale of it is hugely impressive and to have that built here for here is marvellous. People are fascinated by the, the sort of very big or the very small and property excels at the very small so to take it and turn it on its head and make something that's very big. Uh, just people are going to be blown away by that. The biggest ever puppet. So different. It's on such a massive scale and it's really magical and creative. Mythical and magical and all of those kinds of things. Uh, on paper, it's exciting. And then when you start to see it coming together and you see just how big it really is, it takes your breath away, literally. And I think it'll just be something really stunning. Um, when you see it against the height of the buildings around the square, I think it really yeah, surprised people. Like it's a unifying project about getting about looking at communities and asking them to reflect on what's positive about the environment and the place they live in. It involves the community and adds a bit of excitement to the summer. It's involving people, the size of the giant, the fact that it's a, a bit of a mystery, a bit of a, an adventure. To have a puppet this size is actually a figure moved by a telehandler and ten puppeteers is going to be extraordinary. Freddy's going to save the world and end terrorism. It's enormous, it's awe-inspiring and it'll make people stop and think.